<laughs> hey friends, it's Mr. Mark and I have a great idea for you. Look at this, it's a tape walker. My friend, I'll walk it again. My friend from up in Owasso, that's near Tulsa, Deborah Stevens gave us this idea. Isn't that great? It's a tape walker. Anytime we make a craft that looks like a toy, <laughs> it's always gonna be better. I love that. And matter of fact, if you are using the Bible lesson, the walk to Emmaus, or anything that deals with walking, <laughs> and it's great because you can put, you could put the Bible verse on those feet. Very good. So let's let me show you how we did this. First of all, you want to you want to trace around someone's shoe that's maybe a smaller size shoe. Don't use your big old foot, but I've already traced around this one and cut it out. So make sure you get the right and the left. You don't want to have two lefts on there. So all right. So I'm going to trace around it, and you might want to let them trace around their own shoes if you think that would be uh, good, because a bunch of our kids probably that would work just fine. And then cut it out. I'll do that quickly. So if you want to provide a pattern for them, I mean, that's just fine. Let them have a pattern. It's just fine. But this is actually cut out of cardstock. It would be too floppy if you just ran it on a copy paper and then uh, had them cut it out. If you're gonna do that, you definitely need to run it on cardstock or cover stock, so that way it's a little stiffer. Okay, very good. So if you wanna add to this shoelaces or something like that, that'd be just fine too, but that's up to you. All right, I've got a roll of tape. Actually, look around, you may have some rolls uh, that are almost out of tape or something, and that might work really good. Now, here's what we're gonna do. I have some, some skewers here, or maybe a small dowel rod if you've got some of those. So I've got some here, and they need to be about five inches long. One of the things I've learned with kids is I probably need to cut off that, that tip because they get pokey, you know. I was, I was a little boy once. I know what you do with these. You poke people till they bleed. No. I, we're not doing that. So, all right, so you want to measure about five inches. And I've, I've already cut this tip off right here. So I'm ready to cut the skewer. This might be a teacher part. I think it might be too hard for kiddos to do it. So there, <laughs> it's possible that it'll go flying. So I'm gonna do that one again. And it's right there. See if I can hold on to it this time. Good. So the skewer is smaller in uh, the the circumference than the straw. So we're using a drinking straw, and those need to be four inches. So you can see about four inches. So here's how you assemble it. We want to use the inside of, and we can do it right here on top just above the arch just above the arch is where that's going to go so slide that over just a tinge i have some marvelous tape here i'm going to use it and tape that on so we're working on the bottom right now very good tape that on about the same place and then on the roll of tape you want to actually Put that, put one here at the bottom, and tape it on. Good. Make sure it's going straight out. And then one more piece of tape, and I'm going to turn it, be on the opposite side. Good. And I tape that, trying to keep it straight. Good. Very good. And even if you use rolls of tape and stuff that's at the church and you just send home with the children only the feet and, and the skewer sticks so that they can put it on rolls of tape at home, that's fine too. Maybe you can find a large enough tube 
that you can cut up a tube and they would be able to use that. That'd be fine. So you just slide this on. Good. Slide this on. Good. And then we will walk it. <laughs> Isn't that great? Oh, I love it. I hope you'll give it a try.